Hi everyone, my name is Rémi Leluc, I am a PhD student, and this is my talk for the Bernou IMS One World Symposium 2020 on uh, control variate selection for Monte Carlo integration. This is a joint work with uh, François Portier and Johan Segers. This is the outline of my talk. So after a brief introduction on Monte Carlo methods and the background of uh, control variates, I will present some uh, Monte Carlo estimates uh, that we developed and uh, will show you some uh, concentration inequality we obtained and uh, the numerical experiments we performed that highlight the performance of our approach. Well, uh, Monte Carlo methods aim at uh, solving deterministic problems with uh, randomness. They are well known because they are simple, fast and scalable. And as of today, they are used in many different fields, such as physical science, biology or finance. The goal of this talk is basically to compute uh, an integral. So we are given a function f, uh, which is the square integrable, and we would like to compute p of f, which is the integral of uh, f of x against uh, the probability measure p. So this can be rewritten as uh, the expectation of f of x, where x is a random variable drawn according to p. And uh, in this fr framework, the Monte Carlo procedure uh, consists as the following. Uh, we sample some nodes or particles, x1 to xn, and we evaluate the function f as those random nodes. And using these uh, values, we can compute the Monte Carlo estimates. So the naive Monte Carlo estimates is just the average, so the empirical mean of this evaluation, and we have some theoretical guarantees for this estimate. Thanks to the strong law of a large number and the central limit theorem, we know that this estimate is unbiased and has a variance sigma square over n, where sigma square is the variance associated to the function f. And uh, if we want to reduce this variance, we have two options. Either we can increase the sample size n, but this can be prohibited, or we can reduce the variance the sigma square, which is uh, the goal of this talk. There are many uh, popular methods uh, to reduce the variance of the Monte Carlo estimate. Here we will focus on the control variate uh, technique, but there exist also some techniques relying on important sampling and uh, Monte Carlo Markov chain or uh, sequential Monte Carlo. Um, the idea behind the um, Monte Carlo uh, uh, control variates is just to use some inf extra information to compute the integral of f, uh, of which we, would, we don't know. Basically, we are given some uh, function h1 to hm uh, with known expectation. So without any loss of generality, we can assume that uh, they have uh, zero expectation. And uh, in practice, for example, if we are in the unit cube, uh, we can assume that we have some um, polynomial families such as uh, Legendre or, or Hermit uh, families of which we, we know the, the, the integral. And given this, the control functions, we denote by h the, the vector with uh, all the control variates as elements. And we can perform some linear combination of uh, these control variates. And for any coefficient vector beta, we have that uh, p of f minus beta transpose h is equal to p of f. So we can derive uh, quite a quite simple um, estimate, which is p n of f minus beta transpose h, which is an unbiased estimator of uh, p of f. This yields to a class of Monte Carlo estimates parameterized by the coefficient vector beta. Note that if we take beta equals to zero, we recover the naive Monte Carlo estimate. So the natural question here is, what is the best value for beta? And we can uh, choose beta to minimize the variance of our estimate. And uh, this boils down uh, to the problem of uh, finding the best approximation in the space L2 of the function f minus uh, p of f. Once we have uh, computed the beta star, we can plug it into the formula, and each value of beta will give a Monte Carlo estimate. Note that uh, when you use control variates, you always reduce the variance of uh, your uh, estimate. Um, so uh, here we have made the link between a numerical integration problem and um, a linear regression one, where uh, p of f, the integral we want to compute, uh, appears as the intercept of uh, a linear regression problem. And we have the normal equation to characterize the solution beta star, which uh, in practice has to be estimated with the gram matrix. 
So following the empirical risk minimization paradigm, uh, since we don't know the uh, true, true prob probability measure p, we can replace it by pn, and uh, this, is a this leads to the definition of what we call the ordinary least square Monte Carlo estimate, where basically uh, fn uh, is the target of the model, it's just the evaluation of f at the random nodes, and the, fun and the um, control function are stacked in the matrix h, uh, and we can perform the, the linear regression of uh, uh, the control function to find the target uh, f. Once we have computed the beta OLS, we can plug it into the formula and this uh, yields the Monte Carlo estimate associated to the OLS problem, which can be re uh, written in this form where um, we see that just the linear combination of the evaluation of f and the weight wni just need to be computed once. For the control variates in the literature, well, uh, there are some techniques to build some uh, control variates, and uh, there, be, there, there was some uh, work on uh, a growing number of control variates, where the number m of control variates tends to infinity as well as the number n, uh, the sample size. And uh, recently, some authors uh, uh, suggested the idea uh, to add some regularization to this uh, linear regression problem and this is the purpose of this talk. Because uh, the OLS estimate uh, suffers from uh, drawbacks. First, when there are too many variables uh, compared to the sample size or when there is some uh, multicollinearity. This yields to very large uh, coefficient in the, co uh, in the solution beta. So to avoid this problem, uh, we can bet on sparsity and uh, use the lasso to perform some uh, feature selection. The lasso, uh, standing for a least absolute shrinkage and selection operator, is a penalization technique invented by Tipsherani, where we add the L1 norm of the coefficient uh, beta with a parameter lambda, which controls the sparsity level of our model. Um, so some notation here, we would denote by S of beta the support of beta, which is the active set of this vector, and L star will denote the number of active uh, control function. Finally, uh, a third uh, Monte Carlo estimate is the least square lasso Monte Carlo estimate, where we perform a first step using the lasso to select the control function, and then we use the... Um, control uh, function selected to perform the ordinary least square. And during the first step, uh, we can use a subsampling strategy to uh, reduce the computation time. Now for the concentration inequalities, well, under some uh, assumption that uh, you can find in the paper, uh, we have the following bounds for the error, uh, for the OLS, the lasso and the least square lasso. And you can see that uh, there is an additional term on the right side. Uh, in color, so you can see that um, th this term actually corresponds to the learning phase, to the learning step of the optimal control variates. And in the least square lasso, the number uh, m of uh, control function has been replaced by L star, the, which is actually uh, quite smaller compared to m. Uh, and L star is the number of uh, active control variates. Finally, some numerical experiments. Uh, well, uh, we'll we will focus uh, the study on uh, the unit cube in dimension D with a uh, function that, has, that have been normalized uh, to one, and we compare the different methods, the OLS, the lasso, and the least square lasso. We used uh, some uh, Legendre polynomial as uh, control functions, and we increased the number of control functions to see the effect of adding more and more control function and perform the selection of uh, those control functions. Well, uh, lambda uh, here has been selected by a dichotomic search um, to, to, to select uh, a number of control function of order square root of n. And uh, here are the results. You can see that um, uh, all the methods perform well, but when the number m of control functions uh, is higher than the number n of sample, uh, the OLS becomes unstable and we need to focus on the lasso-based method. And even in a high dimension, here d equals to five or d equals eight, the lasso-based method performs very well. 
To conclude, uh, we've seen that uh, the control variates are a technique uh, quite simple and effective. And when we add some uh, penalization to the linear regression problem, uh, we can increase accuracy without any additional uh, computational cost. And this method performs as well as any other uh, state-of-the-art method. Well, uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, I will be glad to answer all your, your questions during the live session.